Don't be afraid to point the camera on people. You know what I mean? When you, like, when you up here arguing with someone, you want to get that stupid look on their face when you're proving wrong. <laughs> yeah. That stupid look. <laughs> yeah, and you know that stupid look too. I'll be seeing them at work with that stupid look with the with their tongue and shit, like with that dumbass look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said you wanna reach down. A servant of the Most High and the Lord of Yahweh Shai. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Oh, yeah. We're out here teaching the twelve tribes of Israel. That's what you're supposed to do. Didn't say all nations. Yeah, it didn't say all nations. It said the twelve tribes of Israel. He specified that's who he's talking to. Information. The scripture say you gotta teach the gospel to all nations because the twelve tribes of Israel are scattered among all nations. We don't know where they at. You like you on a search and rescue mission? You know what I'm saying? Pretty, pretty much, it's good. Yeah, we're fishing. fishing. It's right. like the show on uh, those fishing competitions. They fish for a specific fish, the bass. They fish for bass. They don't fish for catfish. Who you know? I hope you ain't searching for no goddamn catfish. Right. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're fishing for bass. Yeah, for bass. Specific, that's that good a specific shit. Specific fish. Yep. Okay. And they use specific lures for that fish. You just can't use any lures. It's that lure right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that lure, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because <laughs> each fish got, you know, different tastes. We're using, uh, what do you call them? Parables or, uh, there's oh, another yeah. word for them too, though. Well, allegory. Yeah, allegory. <laughs> People get lost in those stuff. Yeah. That's just how we talk, though, you know what I mean? We all talk. My brethren. Count it all joy when we fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Yeah, but, like like the Lord said, He's going to try you like gold, refine you like silver and gold, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a show, oh, yeah. there's a show called uh, uh, Gold, Gold, uh, they, they're digging for gold, trying to get rich to it. Uh, there's, there's, there's a couple, there's several of them. Yeah, there's a couple of ones. Alaskan gold. Yeah, um, there's one where they even got the nerve to go down to oh, South you America. Got it, don't you? Yeah, there's a process they go yeah. to get that gold up out the dirt. But when they get it out the dirt, it still isn't pure. They gotta burn it. Yeah, melt that shit. They gotta melt that gold. Yeah. Then after the fire it calms it down, and after it cools off, that's its pure form. Yep. You know, and that same thing the Lord is doing to his, uh, to his elect. We're going through that fire of affliction. That furnace of affliction. But afterwards, we're gonna shine like gold. We're gonna shine, that's right. We're gonna shine. Okay, um. But let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect 
and entire, wanting nothing. Yeah, so yeah, we, the Lord give you everything you need. Oh, Jesus, give me a million dollars, please. I'll do the right thing. Please. See, that's the first thing they pray about, money. No money. Well, yeah, you can read in the book of, uh, what's that, First Kings? And it tells you when Solomon, when Solomon became king, he prayed to the Most High. Well, he had a dream. He had a dream that he prayed to the Most High, and he didn't ask for riches. He asked for knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge and understanding. Yeah. So, yeah, Solomon didn't ask for riches, man. But he got riches, though. He got more riches. There's never been anyone who's walked the earth who was as rich as Solomon. Not even the Rothschilds. Now, not even the Rothschilds have as much wealth as Solomon had, man. Yep. Because Solomon controlled the entire globe. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah, heathens come and listen to his wisdom. He, he, I mean, he had, Solomon had, he had ports all the way in Japan, okay? He had Japan on lock. I mean, he had people over in Japan. He was selling ships to Japan. He was selling ships to South America. He was he was all over the place. He, they, he was getting uh, mining uh, North America. Ham, ham. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what well, tells you he had all kinds of ships, ships? He had a fleet of ships. Yeah, many fleets of ships. What am I talking about? Amazing. Yeah. Okay. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High. Just like what you're saying about Solomon. Oh, yeah. So Solomon, yeah, he prayed for wisdom. He didn't pray for gold. Riches and bitches. Yeah, he didn't pray, yeah, he didn't pray for no bitches. Riches and bitches. Yeah, riches <laughs> and bitches. <laughs> That's the only thing a simple fool would think about. Riches and bitches. That's what the niggas in the hood talk about too. Riches and bitches. Bitches will take your riches. Damn right. Man, she didn't you. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Yeah, it means when you faith. ask. Yeah, that That's means. That's a big thing going around that word faith. Yeah, because you have to know. See, the scripture said we know all things. We perceive all things. You're supposed to just know that the Most High is going to help you, man. You ain't supposed to doubt it. You like when you... I mean, you can't explain something like that. Man. You either have faith or you don't. You know what I'm saying? You know? You either do or you don't. I can't, I, I can't explain it no further than that, man. <laughs> if you don't believe, you don't believe. Let me find you some quick precept. Yeah, this, this because they don't believe, ain't, it ain't gonna stop it. Right, like you can keep every law in the Bible perfect, you know what I mean? Uh, you can keep every last commandment perfectly, all the way down to the, you know, just, you can just be perfect. But if you don't believe, you're still gonna be destroyed. You know what I mean? All that, all that stuff that you did was or not like you could have fringes on your garment you know you could be keeping the passover you know uh you could have all your garments made out of the same material uh you could have never committed adultery your whole life but if you don't believe you're still going to be destroyed you're right right you right. know what i mean yeah simple as that i'll come back to that that's what it's talking about not wavering all right go ahead but let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth it's like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Hey, yeah, like you said, you going, it's like you in a... Read that part again. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that is wavering is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Yeah. <laughs> tossed to and fro. Yeah, you tossed to and fro. It's unstable. You ever been on a big ass boat in the middle of the ocean while Woo! you feel like you're going to die? Yeah, it looks like that's going. That boat going to tilt right on over. Like you watching a fishing show, you said the greatest catch and a wave. Of, they be out there fishing, and a big ass wave will come through. You know, it's called the deadliest catch, ain't it? Deadliest catch. Deadliest catch. That fishing show. They be out there fishing, a big ass wave will come through and just take like eight fishermen at one time, and the sea and just <laughs> just kill them all. And one wave will come through and kill eight people at once. Yeah, I see something like that. Wave came. Everybody off. Everybody was off the boat. Yeah. Boat was still cool though. The boat. <laughs> yeah, like they didn't bother looking for him. It's, they, they know. I mean, you might as well leave it alone. You might as well not. Yeah, there's no even no sense in even trying to look for him. Oh no, they ain't. Uh, 
middle of the ocean. The waves get to crashing like that. Big ass waves. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's part of their pride too with a lot of these faggots. They, they think they can keep sailing the seas every day, nothing gonna happen to them. Yeah, temp yeah, tempting the most high. Yeah, like playing chicken, you know what I mean? And they get a rush off that shit. That's what, yeah. Well, you, that's why you look in the scriptures. The main sailors were the Canaanites. They loved that shit. They were the heathens. Israelites, they were they were good sailors too. But you know, Jake, Jake ain't trying to do nothing too crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Not too much. He'll do it a little bit. They didn't, not unless they really, really have to or something. Uh, you ain't see, going to see Jake going and climbing mountains and bungee jumping. That's all them crazy ass white people doing that shit, man. You ain't gonna see me bungee jumping. You ain't gonna see me uh, rock climbing. Paying money, they pay money to go rock climbing. Yeah, they got all yeah. the equipment and gear and shit. Thousands of dollars. They go parachuting and skydiving. That's some crazy shit. Oh, that's why, that, like we was talking earlier that they be, go, they be going to uh, get on the roller coasters. They thrill seekers. That's why that fat bitch just died on that Superman ride. <laughs> or is that a Six Flags down in Texas? That bitch was, she, she was, uh, you know what I'm saying? She wanted to catch a couple of thrills, so she got on that ride and her fat ass fell out of the ride. What was that one saying? Yeah, she got some thrills and spills. Yeah. I mean, that ain't a thrill. I don't know what it is. Shit. That was the ultimate thrill. That bitch got, got her money's worth, you know what I'm saying? Yo, she sure as hell did. <laughs> that was an experience she will never forget. <laughs> and her, her whole family ain't gonna forget that experience. She like, did get her money's worth. It was a nice, fun family day at Six Flags. She did, uh, no, that's, that's something, man. She she paid to die. And I guarantee you that was a wicked ass bitch. She was eating poor cake. Yep. You said she was a fat bitch, right? Fat, yeah. A fat bitch. Poor dieting. Every day. Bitch was probably just five minutes before it happened to her. She's probably talking shit to her husband. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or I doing something with wicked. Or do, yeah, cheating. On, she's probably there cheating on her husband. Right. But I don't even know. I'm just speculating. I, I, I know this bitch was evil. And that's why the Lord got that bitch, man. <laughs> and like, when I read the article, I, I laughed, man. I went. Yeah, that's comedy, man. That's some funny shit, man. Mm. Uh, my fault. I don't talk about the crazy. Oh. For let not man, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yeah, so you guys, I mean, you see that every day, man. All these people are double-minded. That's like, I'll give you one example, like that guy on YouTube, uh, Nate Satan. He want to be a cop and want to be a preacher at the Pastor same time. Nate, yeah, yeah. Are you That's serious? That's a perfect example. Yeah, dude's a cop. He's a detective. And then... Nate? And then he claims to be a Bible teacher. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Nathaniel, Nathaniel 7. Yeah, that's what they say. He's a cop. A detective. A motherfucking cop. A detective. A detective. That's even worse. Yeah, detective, that's like... He's probably a drug dealer and all kind of shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cops are the number one drug dealers. So, but if he's not a drug dealer, that means he works with drug dealers. Well, he's seen some drug dealers. You've seen... What's that movie uh, with Denzel? He won the... Uh, Oscar for uh, Training Day. Training, very good. That's a perfect Training Day is based on a true story. If it's not, I don't know if it's actually a true story, but I know that's real life oh, that shit. Shit's going on. That that movie, what you seen that movie Training Day? That's exactly what happens that's in real life. Time. And he's a detective. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit detectives is involved with. So if, if, if he if he isn't actually selling drugs himself, he's associated with drug dealers and hangs out with drug dealers to support them. You know what I mean? He's got their back all the way, all the way. Because when you were in a, the police force, you're part of a brotherhood, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, they, they look after each other. That's a brotherhood. It's really, technically, it really actually is an actual Freemasonic brotherhood, actually. It is. It's a gang. It's like that cop just got here, not here, here with federal charges. Here in Columbus, Ohio, the other day, protecting the drug dealers. So you know he sees something going on. Oh yeah, shit. he sees all kind of shit. He's saying shit. There was another movie oh, like that too with Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, because like you just said, uh, the, the cop here in Columbus was it a detective or a cop? He was a cop. Well, a cop. Yeah, well they always the dude just got caught a nigga too. Uh, protecting drug dealers right here in Columbus. So it happens all the time. So 
If you, if you motherfucking cop, you have no business even touching this Bible, man, unless your ass is repenting and you're going to quit that damn job. You know, if you a cop, and then, I mean, we ain't just cursing out people because they're cops. But, you know, a cop don't have the truth. It's actually, you got to teach that for The chances are, once you be, only, only a grimy motherfucker is going to be a cop to begin with. Man. It takes a certain type of evil motherfucker to become a cop. The motherfuckers that been running around with the boss, the ones I know from here, yeah. they um, work for lawyer offices and shit, work downtown and like the judicial system and all that, man. You know, the cops, but they're sure some of our lawyers. They part of the system. Yeah, they're right, they're part of, this, they're part of the problem. Part of the beast, you know what I mean? You know? Part of the beast. That's you... why when we always saw them, they drive around with uh, BMWs, Cadillacs, nice shit too, man. Dang, this shit. motherfucker a damn cop. That's a double-minded man. Supposed to be in the truth. That's like, that's like Moses joining the Egyptian army or some shit. Right. That's pretty. What exactly? Exactly. That's a good point. It's like Moses, yeah, joining team. That doesn't make no fucking sense. Right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Moses do. Moses say, fuck y'all. Right. I gotta be with my people. Right. You know, Moses didn't sell out. Moses right. beat the shit out of the Egyptians and killed, killed one. He killed one of them. Hey, he killed more than one of them because when he went through, because the Lord put the power, gave Moses that power, and when the Lord split that Red Sea and drowned the whole Pharaoh's army, he killed all the damn Egyptians that day. <laughs> so that's what you supposed. Well, you ain't supposed to kill nobody, but, but that's what the Lord's gonna do to the cops, man. If you a cop, man, you should resign immediately. Do what you got to do to get the fuck up out of there. Put your pension now. Because besides, even if you a cop. When the society breaks down, the cops are the first ones everybody's coming after. When these riots break out, the cops are the first ones that they coming for, man. Because sure. the elite, they're going to put you on the front line to protect them. You know <laughs> yeah, the cops are just cannon fodder. That's all they cannon fodder. They just send your ass you pawns. You like pawns on a chessboard. They just... Send your ass out there to die. The pawns are less um, valuable pieces. Because the cops are out there with the billy clubs and guns and shit. While some old rich white guys up in some uh, fortified fortress and shit, hugging his money and shit, <laughs> saying, "Please, I hope they get them, get the, get the, get the roaches away from me." You know, savages. Yeah, get them yeah. savages, them barbarians. Right, them scoundrels. Yeah, those worthless eaters. Yeah, but that's what they, that's exactly. You're a cop, man. You're fucked up. You're the, you're the enemy of God. The most high. Right. Plain and simple. Yeah. Simple. That's why we gotta get it. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree. Oh yeah, on the on, I know on the Columbus cars, don't they say protect and serve? On the, well, who who are you protecting and who are you serving? Cause how can when people get arrested, they're always calling the officer sir. Like, yes sir, yes officer. <laughs> like, I thought you supposed to be serving me. Shouldn't you be calling me sir, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why Why am I calling this guy sir when he's supposed to be serving me? Right. See, cause everybody's scared to death of cops. I don't, even an old lady who never commits any crimes, she, she doesn't like being around cops. Nobody likes me, we don't trust them. Who? Speaking to us. Oh, man. And that's the one they used to play the fucking guitar? Nah, that's nah, not him. This uh, is kind of simple. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low. Oh, sound like a demon. Right. But the rich in that he is made low. Because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. Yeah, so, I mean, when you die, you can't take your riches with you, man. Like, that, what are you stacking all this money up for? You can't take it with you. It's planning for retirement. Yeah, planning for Talking retirement. With, you know, like the Jake. If you, if you got money, you're supposed to be helping your brothers out. You're supposed to be helping people, man. If you got a lot of money, like a lot, a lot of money, like, like if you're watching this video, and you, you want to try to help push the truth, and you say you're like a millionaire, you should give us like a couple hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're supposed to, I would do the same thing. That's the whole mentality. Because we're not one, 
there was that dude that came up to the Lord and uh, he asked the Lord, he's like, Lord, I've never broken any laws. He's like, what can I do to get to the kingdom? And the Lord said, and he was real rich. He had a lot of money. And the Lord told him, he's like, go, go give away all your money. And then, come, yeah. then he, yeah, he left away disappointed. Walked away disappointed. <laughs> the fuck you need all that money for, man? We knew brothers that was able to help out a little bit. That's the first thing from their mind, man, helping us out. Man. This time we get gas money, man. We couldn't get shit. Yep. You know? Couldn't get shit. This time we was having problems paying for a pass off, but we made it through. The Lord looked out for us. That's how brothers are, man. Brothers ain't really your fucking brother. Fuck no. For the sun is no longer sooner risen with a burning heat, but but it weareth the grass and the flower that were fallen, and the grace of the fashion of it perished. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. That's a that's a bad scripture, man, because that really sums up really how you're supposed to live right there, man. Mm -hmm. Cause I got a scripture to back you up. Cause you supposed, yeah, you ain't you ain't immortal. None of you motherfuckers are gonna live forever. Okay. They, they, they know the saying that you can't take nothing to the kingdom with you. They sure in the hell trying. Yeah, they were, like we was talking like earlier. Like when the pharaohs died, they were so proud. Right. The Egyptian pharaohs were so proud. When they died, they buried all their gold with them. And they, the Egyptians ain't the only ones that did it. You know what I mean? The Norse would do it too. They, they would bury themselves with their slaves. They had any servants. They, they would uh, do a ritual where they killed the servants so the servant could go on a journey with their master. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they showed you that in that movie. The uh, you seen that TV show Vikings, right? Oh, yeah. You see that episode where uh, Ragnarok killed the he killed the, uh, the Earl in a battle. Mm, and after yeah, the yeah. Earl died, they, uh, his servant got killed too and she was put on the boat with him. Damn. So what kind of dumb ass shit is that? Like, this is like the bitch really went with it. <laughs> like the gold, did it all the, the fruit and all the gold they put in there as offerings really went with it. People are retarded, man. <laughs> like, like the food got spirit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was dumb. Hey, I got a scripture to back that up though. Uh, Matthew six and uh nineteen. Matthew six and nineteen it says, "Lay lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, mm. where moth and rust doth corrupt." And where thieves break through and steal. Hmm. So it ain't no matter how, you can't protect your money well enough. It's gonna get took sooner or later. Just like Rome got sacked and the, uh, the vandals came and took their gold. They, they tried to, they held on to it for hundreds of years, you know what I mean? You're some, yeah, you're some motherfuckers don't even trust yeah. them. They, they stack their money in their garage, you know, in their basement well, or whatever. Well, that's why most of the elite got their money up in Switzerland, up in the mountains. Gold. In Switzerland, Switzerland's like the capital of the elite. Okay, that's their secret hideout. They don't want y'all to know about Switzerland. Damn, the elite don't have FRNs anyway. Yeah, they don't have it. They have gold. <laughs> Substance. They, they, they have giant bolts of gold with an with a army protecting it 24-7. True substance. Yeah, true substance. They have gold. They have oil. Silver. They don't, yeah, have, yeah. they don't have paper money. Mm -hmm. They have gold. They have silver. They have oil. They have cattle. Ancient artifacts. The ancient artifacts. Art. Artwork. Yeah, yeah artwork. Right, 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 artifacts. Hell yeah. That's right, money right there. Right. right. They got yeah, gold right. up in there it's that's four, five hundred some years old. Yep. Just sitting there. It, you got so many biblical artifacts that the average person would never get to see because this is the uh, some private collector's museum. Right. It's some private museum. Okay. They probably have a fabulous, some magnificent shit you've never seen before. Oh man. You know we talk about that a lot too. Yeah. So they got it. They got a these private collectors. They have that shit stored up. You know. There's all kind of famous paintings. That, that came up missing, but that's because they're in some private collector. Why do you think people rob museums? You know what I'm saying? They, they gonna break to a museum, they'll steal that painting, they gonna sell it to a private collector. Whatever the fuck they read, man, they know exactly where to go in the land of Israel to go dig that shit up. Well, you got you got the book right here. I mean, right here, right, you know, all you right. gonna do is tell you. Right. Yep. It's like you wanna go yep. find something? Yep. The archaeologists, when they out there digging, yep. they out there digging like this. They got the Bible in one hand and the shovel in the other. <laughs> That's true too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's true too. Yep. Digging up shit. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a scripture like that in Jeremiah. Tell them that's exactly how they know where them, oh, let me get it to you. the you spot is. Oh yeah, I'll go ahead. While you get that, I'll read it. Let me try and find this one. 
says, uh, lay up not for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there where your heart be also. So if your heart is into your riches, what happens to your riches when you die? They get rusted, so you just rust. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got a rusted ass heart. You got a real rusty heart. See, you're supposed to be. Let me read this. It said, uh, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let me keep going. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters. Goes back to being a cop. You call yourself a man of God and a cop at the same time. You serving two masters. Which one do you serve? Right. If you call yourself a great American patriot, you want to uh, restore the Constitution. You know what I'm saying? You're always talking about the founding fathers. Well, who's your father? Is your father George Washington or the father that's in heaven? Or is your father uh, Thomas Jefferson, who's an antichrist? He said the Bible was a fairy tale. Is that your father? You know what I'm saying? The people, they, uh, their whole mind state is all fucked up, man. And some people there, there some of their gods is their, their actual worldly possessions that they possess. Some of y'all masters is your woman. <laughs> I got the scripture. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it says you cannot serve God and mammon. And mammon, that's the God of riches. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can. Yeah. You, you gotta choose one. You choose Actual physical substance. They worship that shit. And they kill you over that shit. That's why the Bible said, love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Yeah, nigga kill you for leaving on this car, man. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, physical riches, that's just an illusion, man. Yeah. She's not even real. It's, it's, it's all temporary, shit, man. You know, rust away. Everything in this life is temporary. Like, you, like that scripture said, that when the flower grows, the flower don't stay there forever. That motherfucker dies and withers up. Here you go. This is Jeremiah 8 and 1. At that time. That's why these people are like out here like a bunch of crumpled up, like some dried ass leaves blowing down the street. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Really, that's what we are. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. They're blowing in that fire with that wind that Yeah, up. and them dry leaves burn up real quick. Right, right. Real quick. At that time, said the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes, oh, yeah. and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. And they shall... Oh, they, you always watch all kinds of shows, and they show you the ossuaries they got up there in Jerusalem. Because they go up in the graves, because after a thousand, I mean, these were, a lot of people were buried 2,000, 3,000 years ago. So a lot of these people, they took a lot. There's so many people died, they had they started putting their bones in like ossuaries. And you see them digging them graves out all the time. Yep, yep. And they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the hosts of heaven. They do that, they go around and the whole. Shit laid out. And they do that all around the earth. They go around the whole earth digging up graves. It's like, man, the motherfuckers bury the people that they were supposed to be laid to rest. You ain't supposed to be digging up a grave and calling that shit archaeology. <laughs> That's disturbing. Why you wanna go dig up a grave messing with dead people? You assume the Mount Sir digging up shit. Maybe they are. <laughs> That'd be some hard rock to dig in that neighborhood. Shit, Esau, that, Esau probably ate his dead. If you dug in, dig it over there, you find all kind of marks on the bones and everything. Teeth marks, bite teeth marks and yeah, uh, knife marks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact they ain't do That's a fact. Whom they have loved and whom they have served, and after whom they have walked, and whom they have sought, and whom they have worshipped, they shall not be gathered nor be buried. They shall be for dawn upon the face of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's when that great destruction comes. When all this chaos breaks loose. It's coming. You know, there's gonna be some there's gonna be dead bodies everywhere. Flies gonna be buzzing. The birds are gonna be feasting. You know what I'm saying? And that would be a good day for the critters. Yeah, it's coming too, man. Great peace coming too. Yeah. I think there's a scripture like that in Revelation. All you can eat buffet for them creepy crawlers and critters, yeah, man. Like 
Yeah, the flies are gonna have a field day. Oh yeah, yeah, man, it's gonna be a special. This will be we a good day for them. Dead bodies, number roly polies. <laughs> <laughs> we like a rock, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, every last bug, maggots and shit. Yeah, maggots, maggots all up in the mouth and eye sockets. Oh yeah, man. That's what they gonna be in heaven. But, but eventually, that shit's gonna be destroyed, man. That's what's coming is that nuclear war. You see Russia, yeah, they building up, man. They getting ready to go to war. Yeah. They did. They have a. Uh, they're having military exercises with nukes because they're trying to see how fast they can get their nukes up and ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They know they they about to use fucking nukes. So why are they doing exercises with nukes? Because they about to use the motherfucking nukes. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before somebody shoots the nukes, man. It's been a long time since one got launched. Yeah, they, they tweaking. It's, it's, it's been a long time since World War II, boy, and some nukes is getting launched. <laughs> and that shit they had in World War II wasn't shit. The fat boy, that was, that was the fat, what is that? The fat, oh, yeah, fat man, the fat, whatever the fuck it was called. That ain't nothing. That ain't shit. That's like a, that's like a BB gun compared to a, to a 50 caliber sniper rifle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they make them now that they like a, uh, 10,000, 100,000 times stronger. Is it, man, it was, if not more. They had to take out a whole state. Oh, yeah, let me show you that. Let me show you that uh, diagram thing I got. They got nukes so powerful, they could take out a whole state. And they, I mean, they ain't just going to launch one of them. You know what I'm saying? One or two. <laughs> they going to launch as many as they can. Just Because some of them going to get intercepted. Well, they could possibly, so... You know, so the scriptures say ain't none of them gonna get intercepted. Yeah. <laughs> they say none shall break their ranks. There you go. Oh uh, yeah. I'll uh, get that on camera. Now look, that's Hiroshima and Trinity, and that's down here. You can't even see it. You can't even see them. Compare, get, back it up a little bit so you see the whole chart. Damn, you can't see it. That little circle down there in the corner. Down there, there's two of them. That's this is this. That was Hiroshima, which you can barely see, and Trinity next to it. Dang, that's shit. That's but back up a little bit. Can you What's see Mike and Bravo? This is a SAR bomb. That was dropped in the 60s, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the Russian one. So, so they got the new shit's even more powerful than this. Then this is, they cut this one in half. This was only 50 uh, um, megatons or whatever you want to call it. It was originally a hundred. shit, man. You can't even hardly see Hiroshima. Right. And that was some... And those clouds went up. Those little clouds went up forever, man. Right. You know? So imagine them ones. Right. That fucked them japs up, too, boy. Kilotons. Each one of these dots is a killer. One kiloton. Each one of the dots is one kiloton. Fit, little boy... That's the ones in World War II, Little uh -huh. Boy and Fat Man. They were 15 kilotons and 21 kilotons. Um, God damn, that take up the whole page. Yeah, Shit. right, right. <laughs> the Cesar bomb was 50 kilotons, 50,000 kilotons. God damn. damn. 50,000 kil... Wait a minute, hold That's up. more than one page. Hold up, Little, little Man and Fat Boy was 21 kilotons. And 15 kilotons. The SAR bomb was 50,000 kilotons. Where'd that bomb get dropped at? In a, a in the Texas. middle of nowhere up, uh, up in Texas. Oh, it was in Texas. Antarctica. Antarctica. That's what I'm mean. asking, Texas. <laughs> That's where I need to get dropped Look, out it of Texas. Look, it goes on. This one SAR bomb goes on. It goes on. <laughs> it just, you can't you, you run out of ink on your printer if you try to print that shit. <laughs> right, right. That's some bad shit, man. That's some bad shit. Yeah, so them nukes is coming, man. They coming. That's why that's why the scriptures speak of a lake of fire. You don't want to be cast into that lake of fire. <laughs> you know, they, they think that's talking about hell. It is hell. It is. It is. That means death. Is. Hell is death, okay? The word hell is an English word. It, come, it, all right, it comes from actually it comes from a Norwegian word, an old Norse word, kell, which just means a hole in the ground. All right, like the word hole is very similar to the English word uh, hell. See, hole and hell, it's spelled very similar, right? Only thing really different is the vowels. That's because the word hell and hole mean the same thing. 
leaves a hole in the ground. That's why you got a hole of a ship. What is that? It's the bottom, right? That's why you got a, uh, what's the other words? I can't, uh, a helmet. What is a helmet? A helmet is the same thing as hell, is the cover. Like when you're in the grave, you get covered by dirt. You put on a helmet, that's covering up your head. That's what hell's a hole. A, a grave, that is death. That's what it means. So hell is coming. It's coming. <laughs> All this concrete gonna get melted, look like lava. This shit gonna get turned back into rocks. Yeah, it gonna get liquefied. Hey, it's gonna be a lot of glass. Yeah. You know when it's like water though. Cause when the nukes hit, if it hits a you see how the sand gets hit by the nukes, it turns into glass. Right, yeah. Yeah. I saw a Russian test when they nuked so far in the ground and they went through the tunnels. The mountain caves that was above ground. Yeah. And all everywhere they walked, every was everything was glass. Yeah. Everything they was found, glass. They found glass at the remains of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's an old document. Oh, let me show you something. Hold on, hold on. This one trip you out too. Lot's wife. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. You seen that? Yep. Yeah, the, the pillar of salt. Hey, that's the that's what happens to a That's what happens when you have no faith. We was talking about faith earlier. See what happened to Lot's wife, that's a good example. Because a woman ain't got no faith anyway, man. Hey. Just just like that's like why Eve, she got tempted by the serpent. She ain't had no faith. It's Lot's wife still there. Picture of Lot's wife. Damn. That's the Sodom of Gomorrah. You know, uh, and they have they proved they've already proven that, I got another picture too. They've already proven that it's a great explosion happened on that motherfucker. Jabel Uzdom. Uzdom. How do you ever want to say that? Damn. Lot's wife. Okay, get that on camera. Still there to this day. Most I wanted it to stay there for us to see as a, like he, like, an, like he said, you know, all this shit that happened in the past is an example for us to live by today. Yeah, is that, that is Peter? That Peter? Let, me get, let me get that too. Yeah. This is an example. You can see the legs, like a little bit. Yeah, a pillow of salt. She's still there today. <laughs> no one's disturbed, and, and you know. No one's disturbed. Especially those Jews, those rat Jews, those fake Jews. I mean, this is archaeology to them too, you know? Yeah. And they ain't gonna let nobody destroy it. You probably just can't walk up to it anyway. Yeah, he probably nah. Cause you know how niggas are, they niggas be poking it and carving their, I love my baby, and this yeah. the heart around it and this shit. <laughs> Rest in peace, Pookie. <laughs> niggas be spray painting it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Graffiti on it. Some bad-ass graffiti. Don't have the dance trying to pick. can get down with some graffiti, man. I love seeing some graffiti, man. Oh, for real? I love that shit. I like that shit, too. I, like I, I love that shit, man. I've been looking at this shit all the time. Like that. Like your boy Banksy? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's my young kid. Yeah. yeah, graffiti some bad shit. I be wanting to go out and do some tagging. I'm trying to do something so bad. Once it's so bad. That's artwork, though. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Cause, I mean, it's, to me, there's a difference between artwork. I mean, there's a difference between, yeah. There's a difference between just going and taking some spray paint and fucking someone's wall up. But you got actual artists out here, man, that will come and fucking bless your building with a beautiful painting. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. some real skilled, there's some real skilled artists out there, street artists. Yeah, real good. Okay. Yeah, I'd be happy if somebody painted some shit on my wall. As long as, as long as it ain't nothing fucking satanic. Dude, you a damn artist your damn self. You can do some fly shit. Oh, here I got you. Second Peter. And we might as well just start it. I'll just go to the point. Uh, actually, I might have got to start at the top for it to make sense. Second Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we was talking about that dude Nate earlier. Nasty I don't even watch that guy's videos or nothing. I just hear everybody talk about him all the time. Hey, but he's a real piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? There shall be false teachers among you. I mean, that's proof. There's, I mean, you always gonna have false teachers among you. Okay. I mean, we have people who was in our camp that ain't in our camp no more. And so y'all, you'll be around people that be teaching bullshit. They'll be knowingly teaching bullshit. Mm -hmm. Even if you correct them, they'll still keep teaching that bullshit. Yeah, it's one thing to uh, 
to unknowingly be teaching something that's wrong. But once your ass been corrected numerous times and you still teaching some bullshit, that's, that's what you call a damnable heresy. Say there shall be false, that's what it says. Yeah, there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Mm. That goes to your boy Nate too, because he denies the name of the Lord. That's right, that's right. I can't believe anybody actually follows that guy, man. They all dressed up in their Mortal Kombat outfits. Yeah. Looking like uh, Mortal, yeah, looking like Rain from Mortal Kombat, all that purple. Yeah, that purple, yeah, they yeah. do like Rain. And that deep sleep. Yeah. And that deep sleep. Lord, you don't want to be. So the, yeah, the, you don't listen to a motherfucker say they gonna say the Lord's name ain't Ain't important that you a fool, you, you, you deserve the same punishment he gonna get. He gonna keep following. Hey, there's a difference between wearing a costume. Excuse me. There's a difference between wearing garments and wearing costumes, okay? They are these are these are garments. Them motherfuckers wear costumes. Okay, this ain't no this is a this is a humble garment. Okay, this is humble. Not too much, just a little garment. You know what I mean? But you got people out there dressed up in costumes like Nate Satan. They Got their got their wristbands and got the Mortal Kombat look like ninjas and shit. Yeah, right. Look Just, like you watching some H H. Uh, look like flip. they look like the goddamn Power Rangers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you got uh, the, the General uh, uh, Gay Hyena, General Gay Hyena. That motherfucker look like they look like a biker gang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look like Hell's Angels and shit. Looking like demolition. Looking like uh, who else they look like? Yeah, yours, yours, yeah, the Road Warriors. Now, the Road Warriors is too cool to compare that motherfucker to. <laughs> oh, what's up? Uh, you remember that movie, The Beastmaster? Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember all them dudes dressed up in black in the movie, The Beastmaster? Yeah, I remember that. Motherfuckers? That looked like them guys, man. Oh, look at all evil and shit. Look, they look like they, uh, they look like they repping Satan, man. Just look at evil, all black and scary and shit. Fuck. Oh, them guys, you deserve exactly what you're gonna get. Dude, that's death and destruction. Oh, let, me, let me get this. And, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Mm. Like, if you speak the truth, you just, they talk shit about you. They people got a problem with us because we come up, we speak truth. You got a lot of people, they get mad at us because we say that more than just black people are Israelites. Like, oh, you goddamn. Crack a loving honky. Got a goddamn Edomite in your camp, motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, Y'all gonna be killed, man. Y'all gonna be destroyed. Lord's gonna fuck you up. Man, they, we hear that shit all the time. You don't hear it from nobody that got any, any sense. You know what I'm saying? But only, only a retard's gonna believe that shit anyway, man. Only a retard is gonna believe something like that. Y'all retarded? And though covetousness, that, and through covetousness, shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. That goes back. I didn't mean to talk about that dude, Nathaniel. That's on. He's just, just that dude. He, he got a business going on. He's a cop. He's getting paid. Everybody paying all them tithes and shit. Yeah, I noticed. I be. Mean, uh, I was on YouTube and seen a clip, and they got like they got their own fucking special building and shit. Like they don't like it's all set up with the table and shit hanging up on the wall. It's like going to work on the 50C3. I'm like, what? I'm like, what the fuck? Now they got uniforms and shit. <laughs> you got wear, you got wear a ninja uniform to be in his in his church. They running soup camp. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he got he got a corpor he got a corporation going on now. The scripture says, "Give not that bread to the wicked." So there you go. He got a corporation. Yeah, he's trying to he's just trying to build up a business, man. He's trying to. Build a stable future for himself. Stack up some money. You know, be a little poverty pimp. Mm -hmm. That's your uh, poverty pimp. Yeah, because I, well, I see them GMS brothers, they in the crib. Like, yeah, they, 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 they got no... Looking they, broke down and poor. Yeah, they in no auditorium. Looking just no like special. us. <laughs> Ain't got shit. What's the ghetto prophet saying? Uh, Tupac saying that he said one is... Uh, the ghetto prophet. Uh, he said, uh, I should drop the dime to God 
for the crimes that you're committing on the poor. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the preachers yeah. in the hood. And yeah. They drop the dime to God on the crimes. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, Tupac says some says some good shit every once in a while. Yeah, yeah every once but, in a while. Half the time he's talking about goddamn adultery. <laughs> so you got a lot of people try to say Tupac was a prophet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I heard that the other day too. I heard some nigga say that the other day. Bro. I knew some, I had the dude I knew he had Tupac tattooed on himself. Oh shit. So, you know he was off. Oh, shit, I saw a dude yesterday with the Avengers. Oh yeah, Pac got with, covered in tattoos. With it with it. With dope too. What he, he had a what? Yeah. He had the Avengers. Yeah. Well that's that's cause you wow. got the, them tattoo artists be Israel, they be wicked ass Israelites, man. Yeah, yeah. It takes some skills to do them tattoos, man. Yeah, it was it was he, flawless too. Man. But you ain't y'all ain't supposed to be getting tattoos. Right, out right, here. right, right. But I, I'm still recognized. You gotta be a good artist to do tattoos. And uh, that's what—that's the big thing with these bitches. They all getting tattoos now, getting their titties tattooed and shit. Dude, man, that shit's so. It's such oh a yeah. Too, man. Like what? That's you know them titties. They getting their butt over cheeks the, tatted you know, now. Cheek, pussy, everything. They get everything, man. They so you know, everything. You know that ass been all over the place. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know, they want to show it off. That's the whole reason. That's all right. Yep. yep. They want to show it off. Oh shit! What? Was, what was oh yeah. yeah. And through covetousness, they shall. Through covetousness, shall they, with feigned words, make merchandise of you. You gotta watch people always asking you for money. You know what I'm saying? Always. That's the first thing them, when they always asking for money over, you know, that's the only thing they care about. I should be sending up red flags, man. 